Willie D. Live. What's up, family? Let's talk about an uncivilized mutt. A Michigan judge was booted from the bench after she was caught on audio recordings spewing her racist, uncivilized mutt thoughts. Oakland County probate judge Kathleen Ryan, who took an oath that requires her to make decisions about the administration of estates, appoint guardians for minors and disabled people, and resolve disputes, is now out of the courtroom after being exposed by a probate court administrator. Edward Hutton said he was harassed by the judge for years, so he started recording her. Edward said he and the judge had several conversations where she would say inappropriate things, and now he's coming forward to protect the people that appear in her court. Who believes that? What if I told you he had been working in her court for 13 years and he's just now coming forward to protect the people who appear in her court? He's been recording her for years, knowing that she was a racist among other things. And he never said anything. Why? I wonder what, no, I don't have to wonder why. See, what had happened is she finally did it to him. She did him dirty just one too many times. And he decided, you know what? Let me record her so I can have some evidence so that I can have something that has some teeth in it to protect myself. So when I file this lawsuit, I can get my money. See, that's what that was about. This has nothing to do with some type of moral code. This dude knew for 13 years what type of person that judge was. Check out some of the things she said on the recordings, fam. Oh, you're gonna love this. She said, from England, if you're black from any other country, you're doing way better. If you're an American black person, then you're an effing lazy piece of S-H-I-T. More than 13% of Oakland County's population is black, according to the U.S. Census data. She also said this, I can honestly say that, okay, I'm not systemically racist. I'm a new racist. I never was, but now I am because you're shoving this S-H-I-T down my throat, making allegations that you don't know S-H-I-T about. You're telling me who I am, and you've never even effing met me. F you, the uncivilized mutt judge can be heard on the recording saying, question, how many more judges out there do you think holds her same beliefs? How many? How many in Oakland County? How many in the United States? I'll take a wild guess for you. Thousands. Thousands. Yeah. Yeah. This is why the court system is so biased. This is why they disproportionately convict and sentence, punish black people. This is why they disproportionately indict black people. The racist people in this country are in the highest positions of law and government all over this country. Yeah. And this is why you still have this type of energy. She got the nerve to call somebody lazy who are the descendants of the people who built this ragged ass country in the first place. It is absolutely appalling that someone who makes a living sitting on her ass can call anybody lazy. 
Anyway, fam, this is a long, long, long fight. It's so many of them. And it's written in the code. It's systemic. If it was just a few people behaving erratically, uncivilized, you could actually get rid of it like that. But by it being systemic, you damn near have to pass laws to change it. And even passing laws wouldn't be, it wouldn't even be enough because laws are made to be broken and they're also made to be circumvented. That's why they got that little word called loophole. This is not the first time that the judge has made headlines while on the bench. In 2021, she was arrested on charges of misdemeanor domestic violence. Those charges were dropped in 2022, according to the Detroit Free Press. The judge reportedly struck a man who identified her as his girlfriend during an argument, injuring his face. After the incident, she was evaluated by a nearby hospital where she shouted obscenities at the police officers and hospital staff and tried to escape from custody. She then told those who challenged her that she was a judge and would be coming after them according to a police report obtained by the local newspaper. This chick is a menace. She's been a menace for a long time. So how does she shout obscenities to the police, commit a domestic violence, cuss out the hospital staff, go under evaluation, and they just and she threatened people because she's a judge, and they let her get back on the bench to judge others. I'm telling you, fam, there's a whole lot of uncivilized much that wear those black robes. This is why the court system is so screwed up. The inmates are running the prison. All of the cases that she's tried, every single one of them, not just 13 years back, but all of them should be reevaluated. Every single one of them, because we know for a fact she used implicit bias and blatant racism to make decisions on those cases. No more talk.